Hello, ladies and gentlemen. God bless each and every one of you. It is Friday. We are heading into the weekend. I hope you've had a blessed week. I hope you've been safe. And I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend ahead. And don't forget Sunday. Uh, get up and go to church because it is very important. And as I've always said, make sure you find a Bible-believing, Bible-preaching, bible teaching church. That is the most important part of going to church is going to a church that preaches the Word of God, going to a church that stands by the Word of God. And, I, and, and that brings me in to my topic for today is the church in 2022 is not nowhere near what it needs to be. It has slipped so far from what it was to what it is now. I've seen clips on the internet just recently where churches are having, I think I spoke briefly about this in a video not long ago, they're allowing secular music into the service. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's you know music that you would hear on the radio on a non-Christian radio station. You, uh, I seen a, a church in Chicago. They were uh, praise and worshiping to Michael Jackson songs. Folks, that's not going to cut it. You may not like what I'm going to say, but it's not going to cut it. You start bringing the world into the church and you will watch God leave that church quicker than anything. It will be what used to be known as a dead church, meaning there's nothing there. It's dead. There's no spiritual move. There's nothing. When you start bringing the world into the church, and I've seen it time and time again, especially over the last decade, you're not going to get anything out of that service. You're going to come into that church service empty, and you're going to leave just as empty as when you entered the church. When I enter into my church on Sunday morning, there's a lot of times I'm not feeling well. I'm battling an illness, as you all know. I've spoke about it many times. So there's many Sundays that I get up and don't want to go to church. I just don't. I don't feel good. I, I don't feel good, but I do. And I can tell you this more often than not, way more often than not, when I leave that service, I am feeling so much better because the Lord has uplifted me. He, he has renewed my spirit as when I went into that church, my tank, as I call it, my gas tank was on empty and God filled my gas tank. Today, we have too many churches that are allowing things into the church that should not be there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that I cannot discuss that are in churches today, that are not only in churches that take part in of the service, or even in many cases lead the service, albeit uh, a minister or a song leader uh, that is and should not be doing those things. But yet we see this time and again and cannot talk about them because unfortunately we're living in a society today in America that if I express my opinion, even though, if, even though it would be biblically backed up by the word of God, it would be considered hate speech and it would be removed and I would have a strike put against me or suspended or just removed completely off of this platform. Just gone. I've seen it many times from other Christians that uh, have channels like mine. Uh, they love to attack us. They love to attack. You would think that I've only got a few hundred subscribers, that YouTube doesn't care about me, that they wouldn't blink an eye at me, but oh, you'd be so wrong. So, so wrong. Yes, I have been flagged. I have had strikes and it's nothing to do with any name calling. I don't do that. You should know that by now. It's just certain scriptures that I have read that they do not agree with, and therefore I'm a racist. 
or I'm uh, spreading hate speech or whatever. I am actually talking about the Word of God, people, the Bible, the Holy Bible, and yet that's considered, verses within that is considered hate speech. That is the times we are living in, and that is exactly why the church does not need to open its doors to the world and let the world in. Now, let me, let me, uh, let me fine tune that statement. We want anybody and everybody to come to church because we want them to give their life to Christ. We don't want to exclude anybody because we don't like, I don't know, their hairstyle or we don't like whatever. Okay, we want them to come to church. We want them to accept the Lord. Okay, but what we don't want is the world coming in and being a part of the church, meaning you know, like I said, with the church in Chicago, the other church in Atlanta, the one I saw in Los Angeles, uh, the other church I saw in Phoenix, there's a myriad of them. There was one in Boston where you're bringing secular music into the church and uh, you're doing dances that should be, you would imagine, would be at your local. I don't think they have discos anymore. I'm probably aging myself by saying that but whatever they are called today nightclubs dance clubs uh whatever they are you know i am seeing these types of things uh being allowed in church folks that's the lord's house you know we go there to give reverence to the lord we go there to praise and to worship and to and to pray and to hear the word of god we don't go there to uh uh shake our booties and things like i have seen on some of these videos and i'm folks i'm not talking about some obscure church that you know blah 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 no there's many of these videos on church i'm actually taking this topic from a gentleman that actually did a much more in-depth video uh from i believe it was the good fight ministries i believe i believe that's where i, I saw a lot of this happening i believe it was either that or the living or, or living waters i can't remember because i love both of them and that's Ray Comfort uh, at his ministry, livingwaters.com. Uh, he also has a channel here called Living Waters. And I highly recommend, you know, everybody going and, and watching the channel um, because it's fantastic. But, you know, this is the, the, the times that we're living in. We're seeing the devil infiltrating into the church. Folks, that's what it comes down to. That That's, that's it. That's the bottom line. You know, I, I might, you might think that I'm, I'm old fashioned or, or whatever you want to call it. But when I, I have a church right across the street from my house, literally, and it's what I would call a mega church, you know, thousands of people attend on Sundays. And in the summertime, I see people going into that church wearing clothing that I would never in a million years walk into church. You know, I, I see uh, uh, guys going in with tank tops and shorts and flip flops into God's house. I see women wearing something that you would would think that that would be something they would wear on the beach. And they're going into God's house. Now, again, you might call me old school because I'm bringing something up like that. But let me tell you, folks, no, that you don't. You don't. You don't disrespect God's house, and that's the problem with what's going on today. That's why the church is so at fault for a lot of these things we're seeing in this country, because we've not stood up. We've not stood on the, the Word of God. We've not picked up our cross. We've not done none of it. We've stood idly by for so long that now these things have infiltrated not only have they infiltrated into the church they've become a part of the church it's become normal so you know like i said you can say whatever you want about me but i'm telling you this is why we are in the condition we are in today uh this is no longer what i would consider a godly nation and it comes back to the church so you know 
you go to church, you show reverence for the Lord, you respect God's house. Okay, I realize that we are the church, the Christians, the followers. I get it. But we go uh, to gather together to worship in a house, in God's house. That's why it's called God's house, church, God's house. So we need to be a little bit more respectful. And, and, you know, these churches that are allowing, you know, Michael Jackson songs into their church and Toto into songs from Toto into their church and other rock songs. And uh, I even seen uh, one service had Stairway to Heaven from Led Zeppelin. That is not a godly song, folks. If you go and read the lyrics, it's not a godly song at all. All right. It's not. And you have this being played in church. Come on. I guess because Stairway to Heaven, they think it's okay to play. It's not. It's not a song that's glorifying God. Therefore, it has no place in the church today. Again, I'm not here to try to offend anybody, but, you know, hey, I'm telling it like it is, and I I truly believe that. I really honestly do. So, y'all, have a good day. Get a chance. Go to church on Sunday, like I said. Find yourself a good Bible-believing, Bible-teaching, Bible-preaching church because uh, they will build a wonderful foundation for you with your Christian walk with the Lord, a strong foundation. And that's what you need to have is a strong foundation. God bless you. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm sorry for my throat. I'm losing my voice. I'm going to cut this short. Bye-bye, y'all.